Hello, this is uh, Roland Junk again, trying um, to detail out a little bit more what I just showed you here. I got an interesting question here. Does the schematic uh, for the terminal include the connection point designation for management of internal and external connection points logic? Interesting question, William. Uh, let's take a look. So technically what you're asking is, how do we sort out what's let's say, considered internal versus external. So one interesting thing is control, shift, click, and you can actually click on a terminal and you can go and check out the terminal itself. It opens the schematic, okay? How does it typically work? Now, you're talking about the connection point designations that sometimes, and only sometimes, in very rare cases, the function template of your uh, individual uh, terminal has actually described the connection point designations here. Now, technically, this means that when you pick the part, you have a connection point designation here that gets distributed, and this means you have your uh, terminal. Remember, this is a terminal with four connections, but I'm really just graphically using one and two to show my wires, so one, and two are really my wires. And really, the connections four and five, or fourth and fifth, are usually, or, or end up turning into a, um, um, a jumper. Really, the jumpers, and this is a good example on this one here, because I'm jumpering them one to each other, you can jumper terminals uh, by having them one side by side. So the next step that I typically do when I handle terminals is I don't really care about the one, two, and three. What I really care about is by default, I happen to know that the what's on this side of the terminal, so on connection one, is typically, because of the logic, considered to be the internal side of the um, individual terminal, and this is the external side. So technically, um, this means that when you carefully look at the terminal, this is the internal side, so the upper side, and this is the external side. Now, in North America, we often even take this here, and we make that external uh, wire, which goes out to something. We make it uh, recognizable to be external. So some people actually assign it to a certain grouping, and even better than this, some people actually change the line type of this to be dashed to actually represent its out, outside. But by default, here you will see that in the connections tab, the connection number one, which is the internal connection number two, is being external. So in this case here, I did the same thing, but the two terminals, because they are connected to each other, you will see actually this turns into, and we're talking about terminal number two and three, so two and three, you can see we have a jumper between the two of them. So when I do place a terminal, the first thing that I always look at is these two objects. And, and let's say we have this scenario here, which is a little bit awkward because we would have a PLC and we would have a relay both inside. So this is a little bit tricky because when you insert, let's say, a terminal, and you could just basically take this terminal here and just basically here, boom, uh, dump it there and say, okay, we're going to create a new terminal. If you do a TB25, uh, this is because I uh, create, I, I had the terminal strips also uh, renumbered. Sometimes what I do, let me just show you, when I do actually copy and paste, so when I copy these, Control-C, copy, and when I paste them, so here this is with a, a first point, paste. Uh, where's the paste? Paste, paste paste it here, okay? What I usually do is I also come and check out here different things, and I often turn off the terminal strip because most likely it will be added to the same terminal strip, so TB1. So you can see it just adds TB1 to terminal number eight. Of course, if I do this, the first thing in terms of the order of the terminal, you will have something a little bit special because you're Terminal number eight got added down here at the end. And what is also not exactly true is this issue here, or this topic with these separators, right? So I would actually say that this terminal would probably be more in the range somewhere in between here before the neutrals maybe. Maybe I'm gonna call it four. Can I call it four? Let's see, I already have a terminal number four. 
maybe I'll just call it uh, added. Okay, so we can recognize it. So, and and this one is actually special because, as I said earlier, you have this wire and this wire here that really both of these wires are inside internal so how would you control this very easy you just say okay the connection number one internal that's fine connection number two internal also and you just basically make here instead of external you make it internal and this is all you don't have to worry about more than that and it's going to work out fine. And going back to my terminal diagram, so remember, this is my TV1 add. If we check out my terminal um, assembly here, which is my report, usually when I just open it here, I go reports update, you will see this new terminal that is added. And the two wires actually end up here at the top. Now, the 3D is a little bit, uh, you can't, of course, just go about and do this. Uh, you will have to take away or easily just, you know, the, the quickest way, this is what I think, is in Pro Panel. You just get rid of that. You know that you need a little bit more space, so you check it out. Eee, that's going to be tricky if it actually fits. Uh, we may have to check this out. So be careful. If you turn on the collision check, it will probably tell you. So let's see, if I go inside my A1 TB, that's my TB1, just drag and drop one terminal strip, and it says, do you want to do the whole terminal strip? I just place it, and it may actually call up an error at the end for the very last one, because I might be crashing into my PLC. We'll see. <clears throat> so it does the calculation, of course, placing them one by one, and... Um, We'll figure out which one is our add. Uh, it's our fourth position of terminal. So we'll see. A collision continue anyway. Let's say yes. And I'll just move these things. Like I said, there's a collision. This is the beauty about the digital twin. This is my terminal here that got added. And if I actually route it, you will see that the routing is indeed done on the internal side. So you can see it automatically connects on first and second on the internal. So you don't have to worry about the connection point designation as mentioned in your question or the um, connection points that you use. So you can keep it a lot simpler in ePlan. We make it really easy on that side. So this was Roland Jung from ePlan. If you have any questions, I'll be posting this video in a few seconds. Thank you. Bye-bye.